Hi there, great day. Today I want to give you some tips of Excel. If you are new in Excel or using Excel or wise, these tips make you more efficient and save your time. If you are looking for my new videos, hit the bell notification beside the subscribe button, then you will get notified my new videos comes out. Let's get started start these fantastic tips of Excel. Tip 1. Name a range. Name a range is a very helpful to refer set of data. For this, go to Formula, click Define Name, then type the name of the range and click and select data. And hit OK. Now you have a named January. For example, if I want to um, January, February, March, April, May, June all to be named, the best thing to do highlight all, all of the data first. Then go to create from selection. Top row, yes, okay. Then hit OK and it will automatically create all data set with those names. Remember to select data range first. Tip 2 Absolute Reference. If you have a formula, you use absolute reference. So if you put a dollar sign in front of the column, and a dollar sign in front of the row. When you move the data around, it always going to stay C4 in the formula. C4 in the formula. You can also use F4 to make the cell absolute reference. I delete this one, press F4. I can make a absolute cell reference. If I press again F4, then it will um, absolute the row. And if I press again F4, it will absolute the column. And if I press F4 again, then it will remove the absolute reference cell. Tip 3 status bar tools. If you want quick access to some totaling average count, just click on the range of the cell. And down in the bottom status bar area, you will see average count sum. You can select holding control key and a choose variety of uh, uh, different things on the different location. And you can see average count sum. Also, you can see and uh, do the right click and uh, if you want to add a minimum and maximum, you will see these functions come on the status bar. This is the quick way to see the summary. For data entry limit, you can restrict data that's entered into a specific cell. So for example, uh, if we take a range for the month of January, uh, we have to go in a data and then data validation. Here in setting we have to select whole number and here we have to give the range. For example, I need only numbers in between 100 to 200. I have to go input title. This is valid I can put an in input message uh, valid entry and if it's uh, not a valid number then the title is here error and I need a message not a valid entry 
and I hit OK. So if I write it down 200, it will giving valid. But if I write it down 20 numbered, it will give me error message, which is not a valid entry. Now you will notice if type something outside the range, it give me an error message and say it is not a valid entry. That great way to limit the data then can enter into your spreadsheet. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you the use of some short keys, which is very useful uh, to do the work fast. Uh, if you want to hide this uh, ribbon, uh, you have to hold control key and then press F1. In that way, it is hide it. If you want to appear again, again, hold the control key and press F1. And uh, in that way, it is appear again. If you want to go for the next sheet, uh, what you're supposed to do, con hold control key and then press page down. In that way, you go for the next sheet. If you want to go for the previous sheet, control hold the control key and press page up you can go for the previous sheet another thing if you want to protect your your sheet you have to hold alter and then press r p and s together in that way you can protect you can protect the sheet by using password okay and then re-enter password to proceed in my next video i will show more use of short keys which will help to save your time thank you